Hey, good morning, Family Life Church. Happy Election Day. Uh, I'm coming to you on this Tuesday with my Starbucks in hand and uh, ready to uh, face this rainy day. But uh, Sandy and I have already voted. We've taken our ballots and hand-delivered them into the, the drop-off box, and uh, I hope you have done the same. What a privilege we have, really, in this country uh, to be able to vote, to be able to let our voice count and uh, and to choose. And we did so prayerfully and carefully, and I hope, I hope you've done the same. And uh, if you haven't, uh, there's still time. Figure it out. But, you know, I was starting to think about uh, this day, and, and uh, there's been a lot of uh, build-up to this day. All the anxiety, hopes and fears, and uh, everything that goes into it, uh, all very real. But then I start thinking about uh, what God says. Do you know that in the Bible, there is 365 verses or times that say, fear not or don't be anxious? True story, 365. That's one for every day of the year. I'm telling you what, we need every one of those for 2020. But I'm telling you, there's a fear not, don't be anxious for November 3rd, 2020. That means on my worst day, God says, don't be anxious, don't be fearful. On my best day, Jesus says, do not fear, do not be afraid. And any day in between, uh, 365 times. Why can he say that? Well, the Bible tells us, and we believe, that God is all-knowing. He's omnipresent. He's omniscient. He knows everything. Do you know that God already knows the outcome of what's going to happen today? <laughs> he knows the winner of this election. He knows the direction of this country already. He has an eternal view. And guess what? Tomorrow morning, or whenever we find out who wins this election, God will still be God. You're never going to hear God say, well, that surprised me. I never saw that coming. No, God always knows. But you and I are created for eternity. And what happens today at the ballot box doesn't have the power to change your eternal destination. You're the one that determines that by the decisions you make. And so I just want to encourage you today over and over and over again. Jesus said, you trust God, believe in me also, trust in me also. And he always brings a message of hope. Why? Because there's nothing that surprises God. There's nothing too difficult for God. And God always has a plan for our good. So do we care about today? Absolutely. We pray about it. We care about it. We exercise our rights as great citizens of this country. But we allow the outcome to happen without anxiousness, without fearing the future, because God has our lives in his hands. I've, I'm, I'm a history bus, buff. I love history, and I look throughout history, and every point in history, God has been there. No matter the circumstances, no matter the nation, no matter the country, no matter the people, those that honor God, those that trust him, he is always there for them. So I just wanted to encourage you in that today. I pray that you have already voted and done so in a prayerful and a careful way and exercised your right to vote. I pray that you have not been coerced or criticized because of that. But I also pray that you will lean into what God says to you today. 365 times. Don't be afraid. Don't be anxious. I've got you. God is in control. And tomorrow morning or the end of next week, God will still be in charge of who's in charge. Believe it. Jesus, I thank you for today. I thank you uh, that we're finally here. Some of us are tired of all this uh, buildup. But God, I pray that your will be done and your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. And I pray for my friends today, especially those that might be feeling anxious or worried or fearful. God, that you would help them, no matter the outcome of, of this race. God, I pray that you would help us to trust you and to know that we were created for eternity. And in the eye of eternity, everything comes back to God is in control. And we thank you for that in Jesus' name. Hey, happy Tuesday. God bless.